And welcome to Walk Two's gameplay video of Ethereum. I'm your Klein. Today we're playing. Uh, today we're playing the full release of Ethereum. And today is uh, March 25th, 2015. And the uh, game finally came out after months and months of well nothingness, basically. Uh, this game has been over. This game you could pre-order this game, I think, in like mid fall 2014. And uh, it's been there forever. And there was a date on the Steam page saying you could saying uh, you could get the pre-order. Uh, saying you could pre-order before 2020 20th or else you can't and when that day came around well nothing happened the game didn't release and you could still pre-order but now the game is finally released um there was a beta the march tw march 16 2015 that came out of nowhere to be frank uh but i didn't know about it at the time i only knew about it two days uh no yesterday basically and i didn't make beta videos um on the on the skirmish and it was fun uh and the ethereum is a game that i Kind of, uh, I, I was kind of, I, I was kind of timid about getting it first because it just didn't look all that nice to me. Um, but after playing the beta and playing skirmish in the beta, it's actually a pretty good game. Sure, it's more simple RTS. Sure, it's, um, it's basically Halo Wars moder modernized, basically, if you want to put it that way. Um, and this conquest, and it's pretty cool. And if you want to see, uh, if you want more information. Uh, like the intro video as well as you know, Skimmers gameplay, which, uh, you can check out my beta videos as they're pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, the Skimmers hasn't changed all that much from the beta. Uh, there's not really much difference as you can see. It's basically the same thing. So I won't be going over that today. What I'll be going over instead is Conquest. Something that I always like in RTS games and basically any game that has Conquest in it, I love it. Uh, whether it be... Battlefront, uh, or um, or Command and Conquer, or basically anything. Oh, in coming home class is in war. I always like me some conquest. Uh, a good RTS with a good three side conquest is always nice. And uh, let's do let's do that, shall we? Uh, today we'll be playing as the Sword in which are the humans, uh, versus anybody else. I think we'll be also playing on easy as I'm not quite confident to go on medium as. If you've seen my uh, beta videos, which I'll link in the description to them, you'll know that medium in this game, fair, but the AI is really good at micromanaging and sending forces at you non-stop. I'm not that good at that. I will probably get, I'll probably get more, I'll probably get better at doing it in the future, but for right now, we'll just play it easy for the sake of this video. And um, yeah, so uh, actually, what is Ethereum? Well, I, I don't know why I'm just getting to this, but I am. Uh, Ethereum is a three-sided sci-fi RTS where the, where the whole goal of the game is to, is to place bases in sectors and just expand your bases and wipe out the enemy fleet with uh, by shooting rockets at it or by by, well, by upgrading your bases to by upgrading your bases to launch rockets at the enemy fleet and also you can destroy the enemy base and there's um, like each planet has a different weather uh, condition where where it does something bad when it occurs. Uh, like the like the jungle planet has, you know, the jungle planet has a hurricane which uh, denies all aircraft or shoot them down if you, if they get in it if they well if they move while in there while well, the hurricane's active as well as you can't place any buildings or units because well the hurricane's in the middle is in the way between space and the planet. All right, and the whole goal and the whole goal of the game is to fight over Ethereum and just. Well, have fun. So we'll be playing this consortium today, which are the sneak attack uh, faction, also known as the human faction. But you also got the, uh, you also got the heavy trooper uh, Intar, which are the aliens, and then you got the big tide empire, which are the alien aliens. And they are. I actually. I guess they are the spam faction. They just spam stuff. But today we'll be playing as uh, as the consortium. All right, let's do this. While governments debate the case for Earth entering the race for Ethereum, the consortium, the galaxy's foremost corporation controlling the energy sector, starts an aggressive race for patents in an attempt to dominate the market. The stakes are huge. Owning the majority of the Ethereum mining contracts will assure its industrial and economic supremacy for millennia to come. A ruthless commercial struggle ensues employing tactics that clearly push the strict limits of the law. The consortium engages in frenetic espionage on its competitors under the guise of legal investigations. Blackmail, sabotage, corruption, electronic surveillance, 
and even murder should the situation demand. Yeah, the consortium are kind of jerks. The shareholders of the consortium, in an effort to crush their opponents mercilessly, create the Shadow Network, a group of scientists and military dropouts. From atop the Shadow Towers, massive fortresses with neither eyes nor souls, centered in the largest human cities, the network sees and knows all, and the consortium gradually tightens its grip. All right. Through its criminal activities, the consortium gains a monopoly on the Ethereum market. It uses the profits to invest in research and accelerate the development of its military, space, and digital industries. Interesting. In the laboratories of the Shadow Towers, hidden from prying eyes, they develop an army of genetically modified super soldiers, powerful warriors and infiltration experts skilled in espionage and data hacking. Thanks once again. The consortium now commands a military and economic empire that assures its undisputed dominance over the rest of the world. The first spaceships powered by Ethereum reactors emerge over the next centuries, and the entire solar system is now controlled by Earth. Yeah. As the close of the millennium approaches, the consortium is preparing a war fleet and mobilizing an army. The struggle for Ethereum in the name of humanity can now begin. Yep, and that's where Conquest comes in. And I'll meet you there once we, uh, I'll meet you there because I got in fraps. Because it, it crashes the game if it tries to go to the next screen, so I'll be right back. Alright, here we are playing, uh, the Conquest. Now, uh, well, let's see what Conquest is like. Uh, I know what Conquest is like in other games, where it's basically capture planets and do and do battles uh, in RTS environment while also capturing planets. All right, so let's uh, read this real quick. All right. Oh, you got Earth. Alright, the thing about this game is this HUD can be a little confusing unless you know what you're doing. Uh, up there. Oh, it, it, this is cool. I didn't have that in the beta tutorials for the RTS actually points to where you're supposed to click stuff. Interesting. You know, by the way, um, if you want to see some skirmish gameplay, check out my uh, beta playlist as, I mean, my beta gameplay videos. I'll link in the description to them. Uh, because, as far as I know, the actual gameplay is not all that different. Oh, uh, and then we end our turn. Here we go. There's Mars. Well, is it just one of this? Oh, okay, get it. Lazy. Missed up. Missed up. Uh, use their warm generators in order to get to Mars. Ooh. Okay, those are the alien aliens. What I shall refer them to. Oh, they got it. Alright. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. Now, if you think this is pretty cool, um, you can uh, uh, please put in the link in the description. I mean, please put in the, the uh, please put in the comments if you want me to do an entire series of conquest. Because I will. If you guys if you guys like it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because it does seem pretty fun. Um. Oh, and by the way, this game is twenty nine ninety nine on Steam right now. Um, you could have pre ordered it for twenty six ninety nine uh, months ago, but I didn't. I have a video up on it. I do apologize in case you do like this game and you would and you are willing to uh and you are willing to um why is it separate from attack or move? That's interesting. Uh and if uh you wanted to risk a pre-order, which I did. And this game turned out pretty well, so that's nice. Uh 
happy. I mean, I, the reason why I didn't do that is because I, I didn't see the dumb beta starting in the 16th. And I probably wouldn't have played it anyway since I'm not a multiplayer type of guy. And the beta was basically multiplayer only when it first started. But then it became single player. I mean, then it added skirmish. So let's go. Okay, we're going, we're going to our first match. Now let's do this. Okay, Grand Knuckles. Are you going to load or yeah you are? Here we go. Yeah, uh, these are your colony ships. Look, they made a unique environment for Mars. Interesting. I think we're ready. ready. All right, these are engineers. These guys uh, make bases by doing this. Right and then in this game, you can actually zoom in pretty far. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna need. Uh, Okay, these are your upgrade modules for your bases. Unlike Halo Wars, where you clicked in the base and then you uh, selected what well, you built there, you actually all of your res all of your building stuff is on this tab. All right, we're gonna need science, and then you can see up here what you're actually building. Uh, command points are these, I believe, or uh, these are the official abilities they can use to, uh, you know, do stuff. As you can see, pretty cool. There we go. And now to uh, now to um, mine Ethereum, all you gotta do is click on this. Don't click on the Ethereum. Don't click on the base. I mean, don't send uh, engineers to capture Ethereum. All you gotta do is just click on it, and it captures. Pretty interesting, alright. Oh, we don't have... Did I just... We can't build any, uh, tanks yet. I wish I knew that. Alright, now let's make this our forward operating base by putting that there. Or putting it on the base. Sometimes you click up there, sometimes you click down here. Uh, the space board allows you to deploy units on the base, because whenever you deploy a unit, uh, you have to deploy it next to a base that has, um... Uh, ooh. Next to a base... That has a spaceport. No place to do it right now. You're going down, boss. You're going down. Also, the sound of this game is pretty decent. It's not terrible. It'd be better. Get off my planet. Standing by. Why aren't you attacking? Reporting. Uh, why aren't you attacking? There you go. Where are these guys? Okay, they're in retreat. Waiting for orders. Oh, get out of there. Alright, stay there. Oh, and by the way, everything heals automatically except for units. Units, you actually have to press this when they're inside a deployment zone in order to heal them. Which I can order. showcase right now. Why not? Moving to coordinates. Alright, can we want more Ethereum from this? And actually, we want to have a, uh, okay, see up here, these are your flip status. Uh, when this bar goes all the way down, you'll lose the game. And the only way to deplete this bar, as far as I know, is by building, uh, can we actually build them? Uh, I don't think we can, but there, but there are, um, anti-ship rockets you can build, or anti-ship missiles you can build. And with those, you can, uh, wipe out the enemy fleet. Um, it's pretty interesting that there's... This, uh, you can either win by destroying all their bases and units, or you can win by destroying their fleet. It's pretty interesting. Uh, although I wish, now that I think about it, I wish, um, I wish you could, uh, I, I wish there was buildings you can capture instead to capture the, to destroy the enemy fleet. That would make more sense to me, but oh well, it works. I might as well pull some buggies. Buggies are mainly recon. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, let's move up. Actually, no, let's uh, get dudes before I move up. 
or do that because these are they're not dudes they're not they're not male so they're obviously not dudes oh and by the way this is your um this is your unit gap you can only have as many units as you can fit in those slots as you can see we only have four slots so we can only fit four units if you want to get more units all you gotta do is uh uh is which i forgot no not you Oh, right there. I don't know why I misplaced it. Alright, we're gonna put this on our main base. There we go. And now with that, we should be able to, uh... I, I'm just gonna sell... Do we... We can still... Okay, we can build aircraft. I think. Or we, I hope I can, we can build aircraft anyway. Standing by. Can I just move up? Okay, there we go. Ready. On it. I know I like them. Okay, this is the Ethereum, and this is our next sector. Stay right there for now. I don't like that area. Okay, we're gonna need engineers, is that like call? And let's just spam soldiers. How about that? I could spend I could uh, do some shell warriors, but I don't want to do that right now. Now the walker game in this game is very, very uh, sketchy, as you'll see in a second. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That worked perfectly that time. Although that was in the beta, so I don't know uh, I don't know how it holds up, but we shall see. For duty. Moving. Yeah, these guys are dudes. Where we gotta get there? Well, I, oh, what's a problem, isn't it? That would be a problem indeed. Let's just hurt these fools. I wasn't expecting. I didn't know. I didn't know, but I should have known because the multiplayer is like this too, where there's uh, uh, multiple routes to your base. There's always two. There's always at least two. Reporting. Hey, where's the engineers are going? Right away. There you go. I don't think they'll be using aircraft, but let's build that anyway. They get out of here, get out of here. Like here. Uh, we lost a unit. Oh, by the way, uh, this is the ex that's the wrong button. This is the extent of your ability to move units around. There is no cover system in this game. It's it's just your it's just a basic RTS game, with Ready conquest that's pretty nice as well as skirmish and multiplayer and three factions. And I'm getting and I'm getting these sinking shoes. Okay, well that's building. Okay, can we uh we need uh we need to have some soldiers down there. It would be really nice with soldiers down here. I think these soldiers can hold out this front. Okay, there we go. Build that. And then we can... Oh, yeah, after having this be a forward operating base, like having this being a forward operating base seems like a good idea. I want to keep this one being a forward operating base as well. And also I'm going to get uh, that right there. i uh, get some more science under that. And yeah, they are in this game could be a little yes, bit better as you can see. They don't help each other at all. They do not care what the, they don't care what's going on. All they care about is just standing there and back. Uh oh, they got turrets. They got turrets, and we don't got anything go against turrets really well. Except well, other turrets. You're going down. Actually, while that while he's shooting our turret, let's just go over here and and not like him. Well, they can come from and down there if we're not careful. We've got a lock. That must that must, sorry, must be anti-personnel. Speaking of, let's build one right. Let's build some over here as we're not going that way. There you go. And we can just sell this as the sell command. Ready for order. Where is this the alien alien's face? Not quite sure they were not, not, not quite sure why they were in the solar system, but hey. Standing by. Oh, we'll them. Order. Okay, they can shoot through the base more or less. Oh, no, I think they're shooting over that, but it's just not showing it all that well. Oh, so far I'm looking at the campaign. And these we'll guys was perfect order. for me at this second. I mean right this second is 
not too hard, not too easy. It's just right, just right for me right now. Of course I'll do, uh, of course I'll, actually we can capture that if we, can, we can capture that, there's no problem, can we? Yeah, let's do that. We up with, mer with more jerks. Now I'll just use center infantry, the, the buggies are not all that good. Oh, by the way, you can only have three turrets per, per base, no matter what, so uh, keep that in mind. I guess I did that to make things, uh, make Reporting. things more streamlined and needs, and, uh, more fast-paced, because, to be, I mean, because you could easily, you can easily just dominate the enemies by just spamming turrets, because the turrets are actually pretty good in this game. Okay, it's a supply, so you're not, so that they're implicating out there, okay. Okay, let's get another one of these. Deploy. Now this game requires a lot of micromanaging, if you can't tell already. Uh, okay, hopefully that's a... It, sometimes your um, bases are one... Uh, are one um, I can have only... Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say. Um, sometimes uh, sometimes your bases are only one... Or your expansion bases are only one, or other times it's two. It's kind of weird, but I, well, I guess it works. Okay, I'll sell those, they'll be sold in like... I'm saying people can go through that. Yeah, um, there are certain certain stuff that only people can go through while they're... Uh, there, you can either... Uh, basically, uh, there's p stuff in the map that only people can go through. What happened to all my squads? I told you to sit there. I told you to sit there and you all died on me. And again, they, uh, it's not that far. This game just requires a lot of micromanaging. Oh, and by the way, uh, why am I trying to capture that one? I, I, I don't know why I'm trying to capture that. Uh, who are these guys? Maybe better get out of here. I guess he saw my, uh, I guess he saw reinforcements and said, we're getting out of here today. Okay. Uh, this base, uh, we can do more science, uh, if we get the money. Ready for order. Yeah, I mean, I... Roger come on, I can fall back. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna be able to... Why aren't you falling fast? Fall back faster, why are you so slow? Move fast. You didn't move fast enough, guys, yes, I swear. We've got a lock. Yeah, I kind of wish the camera moved at least five times faster, because it's just so slow, and this is the maxed out setting, too. Uh, I mean, there's a map you can click on, but why would you have to click on the map? You don't, you don't need to click on the map. Oh, they're falling back quickly. We're on it. You better be on it. Alright, this is a three-year. Uh, we can do more money. Four upbringing, this is unnecessary. I want to do more. Oh, click on that. There we go. Yeah, I wish um, I wish the AI knew um, if one if one of its was if uh, its buddies were getting attacked, they would move up with them. But right now, they're just they don't care. They just do not care one bit. Reporting for duty. All right. Enforcements. Target locked. Come on. On target. No, they better fall back. You gotta rock out of that turret, that turret kind of, turns annoys me. Hopefully this doesn't blow up the turret. Standing by. Engaging target. I'm sure this being a four ring base seems like good idea. Yeah. Oh wait for that to be done, then we can call in troops. Okay, now we can just call on dudes. Yeah, the deployment system is a little w weird sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I'm just going to deploy turrets right this second. Oh, uh, we have no money. Yes, sir. Oh, they're falling back though. That's my Chris. Uh, Marsh is red, my cursor is red. Very hard to see. Yeah, 
this new military right there. Standing by. Another turret. We need this base. Actually, since everybody's focusing on this, let's move up on this. On it. Oh, they, not, they don't care about this area at all, do they? Alright, well, that's gonna be a situation solved. Alright, you guys stay there for the moment and just guard that base. How about that? We're gonna move up on this one. And like I said, this game requires a lot of micromanaging. If you if you can't micromanage, this game is really not for you. Because you're really, it's just not smart enough and you're... Oh, by the way, you can, Oh, no, I don't know what that does. Being from Mars, but I don't know what that does. I don't like it. Yeah, they can't attack the base with their units. I'll stay right there. Sir, yes, sir. You're self healed. Oh, by the way, when you're healing people, they can't move. Just saying. Uh, I'll see if I can unlock aircraft. If I can't, oh well. Reporting. Moving out. Oh, that's uh, that's a um, that's a sick, that's a secondary Moving. infection base. Let's not go that way. Uh, that was a dead end. We must go right to their away. base. Yeah, we can't research. Uh, there's no tech research in this. And they get rid of a module. You just do that. Oh, I'll make this an NFOB. As you can see, this stuff doesn't delete as fast as you want it to. Alright, let's click on infantry and start sending in more. You guys got this, baby. Waiting for orders. Actually, me have this, actually. Now that I think about it, let's deploy another one of you here, too. Nah, it could be better over there, but it could be a lot worse. That there, there we go. Standing I'm just going to defend on this area. Um, oh, that's probably for tanks. Right here, up there. Don't be dumb. Um. I don't want to put on this. Oh, I guess the logistic center. That seems about right. Oh, where is the engineers? Oh, there you are. I uh, clicked on the engineers, did I not? Ready for orders. Right away. Uh, port operating base. No, might as well put turrets here. No harm. Other oh, after their cost, there's no real harm in placing turrets everywhere. If you have an opportunity to place a turret, place a turret. All right, where's engineers? Where's engineers? Where's the engineers? Sir, yes, sir. On it. Ready. Standing by. We move on to that. There we go. Sir, yes, sir. I think we found that base. Roger, attack order. I mean, that we found that base, I can see it on the map. Moving out. Ten four. We defend that area. <laughs> Please wait for the end of the colony's construction. No, I'm sorry. No, oh, colony's construction isn't completed, sir. I wish, uh, instead of just showing you a, a log down there, I wish they were, I wish it was voice acting. That would be really nice. Alright. Once again, for the operating base seems nice. Ready for order. Roger, move up. Order. Nope, that's time, but I'm going overtime a little bit. 
Oh, that's a bad bad. Moving to coordinates. On our way. I'll be able to make more units right in a second. Okay, good idea. Well, let's go up their rear. It's actually calling on my soldiers. That's not concerning at all, that green stuff. You got, you guys got that covered. I'll send in more reinforcements. One more answer but spare for engineer. Like, I'm not, I'm, okay, I got right click that, that's a thing. Target locked. I clicked, I left clicked over, I mean, like, uh, the game's controls could be a little bit better, could be more Report. refined, but it's actually pretty good right now, and as you can see, the game is pretty fun. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a bit, you, you'll know that when I'm having fun, I don't talk. I don't say anything about the game at all, I just do this, over basically. Now. That means I'm having a loads and loads of fun. When I'm talking a lot, that usually means the game's kind of terrible, uh, as, as we've seen in Black Talons. Uh, yeah. Which I still do. I still want to do a series on, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Uh, I'll go after these in a second. I want to. Uh, I want to make so make sure I don't need to spend resources on that anymore, or up here anymore. I want to cover everyone. Okay, let's go. Get these guys on two, and actually, let's get my caps. Let's get my uh, windows key locked down. Ready. We're on it. No, the turret's not back here Standing at all. By. Moving to yes, it's perfect. All right. Oh, he's one of their big bases. On target. That out. Right, you're next. Engaging. Come on, take it out. Roughly base in. One turret down, one turret down. On I double click there, I double click, I double. Order. How many times do I got click? Standing yeah, sometimes by. it's like a five click or yes, whatever that means. And they see it's it's in that time. Again, something going to be refined a little bit. Waiting for orders. Yeah, there we go. Moving to coordinates. Ready for orders. Oh, get that first. Get him, get him, get him. They're in Dexel suits. Actually, this could be their main base. If now that I think about it, don't know why it's should it be up here. It could be up here. I mean, our base is here. Yeah, that's an upside map, so this could be their base. Oh, it is their base as it has the as it has a big of a toolbar. Reporting for duty. This be prize the base. Don't even care about them. And we got it. Yeah. We win. Suck at alien aliens. There you go. And um, yeah, that's our first match. That was actually pretty fun. Even though they weren't easy, they were still challenging, as you can see. We could have lost, we could have easily lost that match if I wasn't on top of things. And of course, eventually I'll probably be good enough to play standard. As with RTSs, I'm usually not that good at fighting standard AI or medium AI. I'm usually I need I usually need to take uh I usually need to work really hard really hard in order to beat them. Um, whether it be Command & Conquer or Starcraft, um, uh, Starcraft or anything like that, then I would actually, yeah, then, I, then I need practice. But Halo Wars is pretty easy. This game, probably need a lot of practice in order to get the standard A down. But for the easy I, I like it. They're, that's, they're just good enough for me right now. Before my second game, basically. Oh. Sorry about that. The game crashed. Apparently, Phelps does not like uh, the screen swap from the scoreboard to the Conquest screen. I guess it doesn't like going from any screen to the Conquest screen at all, now that I think about it. But anyway, so I guess it's time to wrap up the video. So what do I think about Ethereum? I think it's actually a pretty good strategy game. Sure, it's not all that... Sure, it's kind of simple. Sure, it's kind of old-fashioned. Uh, but it is fun. It is a fun strategy game. If you like the Halo Wars type of strategy game, then 
Ethereum's right up your alley. Or if you always wanted to play Halo Wars but never could because it never came out on PC, again, it's a pretty good game to pick up. Or if you just like strategy games in general, or sci-fi games in general, or uh, strategy games with conquest modes, or strategy games with uh, three different factions that are uh, that are different from each other. Uh, although I don't think the factions in this game are all that different from each other. Like, uh, I mean, it's like, um, uh, what's a good example? Uh, the Earth series and uh, this one top of my head that right now that's a perfect example, but I can't think of it right now. Uh, uh, I guess uh, Command and Conquer, the Command and Conquerors are three uh, different teams. They're always like that. Uh, those are not the ones I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about a specific one right now that I just can't think of. A uh, good example. All right, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, uh, twenty nine ninety nine. That I tad bit expensive, but if you play conquest mode and I mean, if you just if you pl just play multiplayer or you play skirmish and just have and if, if you like playing skirmish modes against AI, then they get this game. If you like playing multiplayer with your friends or against other people online. You can get this game. Uh, it's not that bad for twenty nine ninety nine U.S. dollars, of course. Uh, and they also, and there's also what makes this game kind of different. Uh, it's the mo it's the modernized conquest mode because that's fun. As we every as we saw, you know, we only played a little bit of conquest mode before we went, before we got into a real match. Um, so yeah, it is a pretty good game. A tad bit expensive, but it's pretty good. Maybe pick up on the sale. Uh, I mean, they were willing to drop the price 10% before launch, so maybe they're willing to drop it even more after. But we'll see. We'll see what time comes. So, um, anyway, so if you would like to me, if you like me to do a series on the conquest, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and um, yeah, so that'll be it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys guys watching this video. It really means a lot to me. Or else, ask me if you to leave a comment. Tell me if you have any suggestions for this. Uh, tell me if you want me to make this a series or not, or any tips on that you have on how to play Ethereum in general. If I run, even if I run no tips, do me in comments for people that do not know the tip. And I guess, see you in a second!